thing. Alright. Hmm. Oh, did I? I guess it works. Alright. I'm going to start a new painting. I'm going to do another one. Someone suggested, I remember her name. She had an idea for one of the paintings before. She, Her idea was a uh, sky porn. I like it. But I think I'm going to use it for a series of paintings that are about the sky. Because I've done it like about four or five already. Maybe I'll just do a couple more. So I can call it a collection. You know what I mean? you got to do enough similar ones to call it a collection. I don't know. Who knows why? So anyhow, I think I'm going to call that collection of sky porn. I like it. It's awesome. Okay, so got this painting, uh, the um, canvas. Uh, what is this? It probably usually says somewhere. Feels like, like, uh, what's that, about 20, 20 by 16 or something? Damn it. I figured it would. Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah, 16 by 20, right on. Okay. 16 by 20. And it's one of these, uh, I got a bunch of these ones. They're kind of neat. Because the uh, Curry's Premium uh, canvases, because they have these like, normally you've got like wooden slots. I have a whole bunch. I got tons of them. Normally when you get like canvases, you get these little wooden slots, these little things here. <clears throat> See this? And what you do is you typically, you would shove it in the corner here, you could put one or two, and it tightens up the canvas. So you kind of hammer them in a little bit. But this this one has like these, these screws. So you just like twist them in, which is kind of neat. Never, uh, I've got a bunch of these ones with those screws. Okay, all right. Let's uh, zoom in. No, okay, what am I gonna do? Yeah, so I'm gonna start off with a wash. And uh, wash of paint, that is. You know, the garbage guys are here collecting the garbage outside. I actually have my windows open because I'm, I'm like fat. So I get hot <laughs> and I was just like cleaning up everything and I did a little cooking. I was like sweating. So I opened up the windows. That's why you can hear stuff outside of the garbage guys. <clears throat> so, and the idea of the, like the wash, I just sort of started doing it more recently. Uh, I kind of held back because there's another painter in uh, Toronto who's doing a lot and I didn't want to feel like I was copying, even though it's like a technique that, you know, pretty common to do. It kind of re reminded me like, oh shit, I forgot I should do washes. Cause the kind of, what's neat about it, especially gonna do like paintings with it. Like let's just say landscapes. The, the red showing through, I think has two effects. I think we like it because it has a warmness to it and it sort of fills in sort of white bright spots and because i was doing a whole bunch of these landscapes and i was realizing all the white spots were showing through and i was meticulously going through and trying to clean them all like add some color to it so it adds a, just basically gets rid of that glaring white spots and as adds warmth to it and what was the third thing oh yeah i have a feeling now maybe this is just because i'm thinking about these paintings but a lot of times when you old dudes Actually, not just dudes. Women too, like Emily Carr. They would paint on panels, and the panels tend to be like wood, and they were they tend to have like a you know an orange beige tint to them, and that created a kind of a looking a nice kind of effect. So maybe we've you know kind of or at least maybe at least I you know really like that look. So hey Nepal. What's up, man? I don't know. I don't know what your name is. It's just got your uh, cool, funky writing. That's still really cool. I'd love to go to Nepal. <clears throat> Maybe one day I will. Nepal, Nepal, Nepal. So many cool places I still like to check out. All right, so I just sort of slap this on in a way, and I try to add a little bit of different colors. It doesn't really matter. You just do whatever you want. Okay. 
So this brush, I don't really need anymore, and I'll put over here. Now, I really don't know. Actually, you know, to be honest, I was thinking about doing a bunch of weird shit, doing some people, maybe just sort of like doing a hand, like drawings of just weird stuff and then painting it. And I'm, I'm, I'm seconds away from deciding which way to go. Or do I continue some more of those? Oh, I know. There was a painting, probably Tom Thompson, where instead of me doing those two landscapes reflecting, there was one I really like what he, I think it's Tom Thompson, I don't know, but the treatment of water were just little brush strokes that got larger and larger and they were more like, more like little squares of brush strokes and they, they came forward. It was, and it had a nice effect too. So maybe I'll do something like that. Um, I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna do cloud. What's the mood I'm gonna go for today? What kind of mood? First, I'm just gonna draw in. Ah, screw it. I'm gonna, okay. So here's my horizon. I, you know, I might only do a couple more of these and never do them again. So it's not like I'm like, I have more ideas than I can think of. But it's just kind of like fun to do something like right now I just I just want to have some little bit of fun so let's just there's this there you go and maybe we'll add like you know a little bit of blue whatever behind it another mountain -y kind of thing all right so now what the hell is this guy gonna be hmm what is this going to be what do I want it to be maybe what I'll do is I'll just trace okay i could trace some of these lines that are already in here I'm kind of thinking, what is the mood i'm thinking like uh what are my other ones i did i did that orangey crazy yellow one i did this blue one here i did that red fire sky and there's another blue wavy one so maybe i done a purpley well that's pretty purpley damn it what a purple red nah, fuck i don't know huh I don't know. What should I do? Well, I got these colors here. Let me just go with these colors. I kind of like this blue. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. I'm just going to sort of follow the uh, the lines I already have here. Cumulus clouds, right? Like those ones. Let's just, just fuck it. Let's just do this. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So there's a there's our composition. Now the question is, where's the white and dark gonna come from? I better look at this painting. What the hell did I do there? Huh. Hmm, so either white here or white here. Fuck, let's make these white. Let's make this whole puffy shit right here white. And then we'll have more things and stuff and things. Okay, so let's grab a brush and let's go to my pile of mostly rejected. Can I just show you over here? Most, oh, actually, I can do this camera movement thing. Let's try this. That's so cool. Okay. I've got a whole pile of, except for that one, that one. These are basically, I'm trying to use up the last of these paints. Oh, here's another one. So actually, there's a couple in here that are big, but the rest of them mostly look pretty last leg sort of what is this is this purple or blue I don't know I think that's purple that's a nice purple and sometimes what I, I don't know if you can see is what I do is sometimes because I don't can't even tell what colors they more sometimes I, I, I stack them here like this so I know I've used that color already this is a color I'm gonna use up all of this one this is a cerulean blue oh I can't use it up because there's nothing left Okay, so in this case, I'm going to use the end of 
one of these brushes just to scoop out the last bit. And of course, I could stick the clean it off. <clears throat> Watching from Quebec, sweet. We got Quebec and we got um, Nepal in the house. Okay, so let's just see what I kind of. All right, I said I said um, maybe this will be a lighter sky up here coming around. I want I want I like the sense of movement, right? So maybe this will be this will be the dark stuff. What is the color of this? Yeah, there we go. Blue and purples. Okay, so I like the purple. So this will be the dark stuff coming behind here. Like that. And this is going to be the puffy white stuff. And then here, this will be this happy cerulean blue stuff. So let's just see if I can make this paint. So I'm just going to I'm just going to mix it right in here. I better come back to here, 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 boop, and then zoom in, zoom in, there we go. PEI, right on, PEI, awesome. I'll tell you my PEI flying story. Maybe, no, it was like 2003 or four. I was hired by a Canadian government to, to go all over Canada to be, to, to give uh, advice to startup game companies and what they would do is they would they would organize you know five or six companies uh, to come in and they flew me and they flew they had actually had a project coordinator and we went up together and so i went all over canada it was awesome like i went to places i normally would never have you know have the real opportunity to go i guess pei was one of them but we were in halifax there's a couple funny like there's two i'm just going to keep blabbing because this is a funny story uh, anyhow, so it was in the morning, and it was my PS. So we couldn't fly in. They had to wait because the cloud ceiling, I think, or something like that, was too low, and the pilots weren't as experienced. Apparently, they needed, and this is like a very short flight from like Halifax to PI. It was like I don't know. Like by the time you come up, you come down. So maybe Patricia, you know about this, but the the, the, the airport scene. So I was I was in uh, I think it was Halifax Airport, and we were and I had a meeting. The meeting was scheduled for like eleven o'clock, and then the flight was like at ten. And so we had it was kind of stressful because we had all these people waiting for me to show up uh, at this that tech center. There's a tech center down. Well, at least there was. I don't know if it's still there. This kind of cool tech hub um, in downtown Halifax. All right. Anyhow. Turns out the pilots that they had weren't experienced enough to fly through this low cloud cover. And finally, last minute, they said, okay, they're going to go for it. We think we can clear them. So anyhow, we got in this small, yes, about 55 minutes, I believe, from Halifax to Charlton. Yeah. So, got in, so we, we walked out on the runway and we got in this small plane that probably sat, let's say, I think there's two rows, I think, in it with about maybe eight or 10 people per row and two pilots. You know, so we were, I was walking up, I think I was one of the first to get on the plane. I was walking up and there was like, you know, a guy there who had like a uniform on who I assumed was like the, like the what, flight attendant, right? He's a young guy. He looked like he was about 20, 23. Anyhow, I got in, you know, and I sat down right in front and the pilots were like right close to me with a small divider. And there was another young guy there who looked like he was about 25 or 23. <laughs> Anyhow, it turns out these two young guys were the pilots and they just didn't have experience. So they were, you know, and when we all got on the plane, um, everyone's like looking at you going, are these guys really the pilots? And we were like, we we're kind of like nodding to going, Okay, let's see what. Okay. All right. You know, there's like very is very foggy out. And just um, the pilot turns back just to give his spiel, like, you know, st stay seated, whatever, and turn off your phones. And the second he says that, his phone starts, it has a ringtone to it, and it's ACDC back in black. It's and it was just a hilarious moment because, like, here's this young guy with his ACDC on his phone, and, like, he's wearing the, the whole, you know, 
everyone's like flight attendant or flight uh, captain's you know hat and shit and uh, that's my that's my quick little story it was pretty funny pi is like a cute little town holy mac it was uh a lot less going on than i than i thought uh, when i went downtown i was just looking for a place for a coffee because i uh, because they had to reschedule it right and uh there was like I found like one place that was I don't even think it was like open and I remember being really cold. But uh I actually had an employee from, from PEI, Joe Grant. I'm pretty sure Joe is from PEI and he's an awesome guy. He lives in the States now. P-E-I. So for, yeah. I was going to sort of do a, a Canadian geography lessons for our, our friend in Nepal, but I probably would screw it up. I'd probably get something wrong. Like, I was just going to say, you know, P-E-I is our smallest province, which is like a state. Like, if you're in the States, I'm like, wait, is it really? Hopefully it is a province, right? I don't want to say, you know, Charlton is the... Uh, it's the capital, and it's this, it's a little island in the East Coast. And do you guys have a bridge now? Wasn't there like a a bridge you could drive across that was like crazy long? Okay, first of all, this sucks. This is really I'm just how do I make this not suck? Okay, I'm, uh, I'm not yeah, I'm not quite feeling what I got so far. Let me just shut the hell up and try to do something. The Confederation Bridge, right. I thought there was something going on with it, like they had to rebuild it or something, or it was falling apart, or the water was like fucking it up, or I don't know. Something like that. Well, I just, I've got a weird feeling that I'm going to screw up this painting. It's going to be crap. I got a, normally I'm like super confident. Like I never feel like I could ever mess something up. But I kind of feel like this is going to be terrible. What a weird feeling. Well, I'm just going to go and do it and see what happens. That's the nice thing about paintings is like, you can always go back and play with it and fix it up. Okay, so if I have this purple here, red... Yep, I'm I'm here. It was just only that one time it's ever happened. I think well, I can't remember what happened. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I deleted the video at the very end. Normal when it when you finish a video like live stream on YouTube, it says done and delete. So I click delete. But what I do is I I, I record all the videos on my hard drive in a higher def definition because uh, YouTube is is like not really good quality. So that later I can upload them to YouTube so that I can attach it to my website. So when you go to my website, you can look at a painting and you click on it, you get a high res version and then you can see all the videos of, of me painting. So it's like a lot of this work I'm doing for God knows why. Anyhow, so that's that's why it was, and I uploaded I uploaded the good version to, to YouTube. Ah, fuck, to uh, Facebook. That's what I can, all right, well that's a lot of talking. Maybe, you know what, this probably needs some, like, yellow. Maybe it needs yellow. Well, let's try this. Let's. Oh, you can see it? All right, good. Okay. Do, 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 do. This is kind of nice to mix purple and yellow, and you get this color. So maybe it's like a... It's a tiny bit gross, but it's also... It's a nice blend. It's kind of this muted kind of greenish mustardy stuff. I like it. I'm going to use more of it. I think I just started this. I kind of went into this impatiently. I'm not quite sure where it's going to go. All 
All right, here's this guy's down here, so maybe. I was thinking earlier, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a painting of like dollar bill or an object and I'm gonna say it's a million it's gonna cost a million bucks. And I'll do like ten of them. And these cost a million dollars. That's my plan. And I'll market it as a source of money laundering for the rich. Buy for a million, and then you can. It's a form. Of, it's a form of currency, like most expensive art. That's what I'm gonna do. Or I'm just gonna list all my paintings, like one million dollars each. I think it's a good strategy. What do you think? When, and the crazy thing is, like, there's artists, you know, younger than me who are pulling in a million bucks of painting, and it's just fucking insane. That'd be crazy. Imagine that. You do a painting, and it's a million bucks. Yeah, only a million bucks. And this guy's like the, the Damien Harris character. He's worth, like, hundreds of millions of dollars. And honestly, I just... Bleh. Sure as hell would be kind of fun to be able to make that kind of money just... <laughs> by having fun and being an artist, you know what I'm saying? That's my plan. That's that's my strategy. Money laundering for the rich, yep. They have enough of those, I think. Well I just know only I just I only do sell like <clears throat> five paintings for a million bucks each. That's it. It's no big deal. No problem. Okay. So what are we doing here? All right, let's just switch over to the, our little land mass. It's kind of a nice green. It's very light. Yeah, it's like, just thinking of, there's a woman, her name is Jenny Seville, and she just kind of does stuff that I'm, I'm not a huge fan of, where she'll take, like, a, she'll basically, like, right, she, she paints a lot of women that look like they're basically dead, or no, they are dead, they're all bloody, and they're, you know, it's painted well, like, it's kind of reminiscent of, like, you know, good quality painting, like, uh, Lucien Freud stuff, but that's some, it's just all shocky value bullshit to me, anyhow. What happened was, someone, I think it was Sachi. The dude, the Sachi art curator guy, you know, saw her at art school and found her and told her, only do six paintings this year and I'll sell them for a hundred thousand each because of all the people he knew and everything he did, you know, he created that her, the buzz around her and she sold six hundred thousand dollars of paintings in one year. Now her paintings are all worth basically like that. It's a scam. It's a scam I would be happy to be belong to. I'd be happy to be part of that scam. Let's scam it up, guys. Let's do it. I'll, 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 everyone gets everyone gets a piece of it. Everyone who helps me out get get there. Everyone gets a piece. Piece of the action. That's how you're supposed to do it. Ironically, most of the rich people I know cheapest fuckers and the people who have the least money are tend to be the most generous isn't that ironic and that is life right there in a nutshell okay
What do you guys do? Like it's uh, 2.37. Well, the guy in Nepal, I'm not sure what time it is in Nepal. So it could be like night for all I know. And PEI, I think you're probably what? You're, you're, you're ahead of me? So it's like two hours ahead maybe? It's maybe like 4.38 there? Appreciate it, but I don't know where you're from. But should you be at work? I gotta get a drink of water. Four, three thirty-six. Only an hour ahead. Okay, cool. Just a sec. this gonna be no work today what do you do out there PEI but Patricia's in PI right yeah you make your farmer the potatoes out there eh drinking the beers wait beer give me some beer no I had 10 beer last night I went to Mount Allison for a year and so I got to know a lot of East Coasters Probably some of the best people in the world. And sure as hell do they sometimes talk funny. For example, beer is plural for beer. What is, no, is it like, I drank 10 beer last night. Yeah, that's how it works. And I something I didn't know is that a lot of people, well, maybe it was more Newfoundland and New Brunswick, but they're rednecks. I did not know this. They're East Coast rednecks. A week with people with disabilities, a support worker. Awesome. Well, maybe you can tell me this. I'm actually officially medically disabled because I got a brain tumor. But I haven't sent in the form to the government just because I don't really... I, I got it like a year and a half ago. I just didn't want it to like... Now that I'm talking on the internet, it's too late. But I didn't want like the government to know that I had a fucking... <laughs> disability because of brain tumor like it's fucking i don't know my accountant says i'm supposed to send it in but i haven't done it in a year and a half mostly because i'm stresses me out to think about shit like that but i don't think there's any kind of like you know i think i'm just fucked so that's what i'm doing art yeah i forget what i was saying um oh yeah rednecks east coasters i did not know that People in the uh, New Brunswick and stuff were a lot of hillbilly red rednecks, <laughs> like shotgun in the in the pickup truck, and they taught me the guys who I lived with. I lived I, I lived in a, a residence called the Truman House, and we were in the basement. <laughs> we were in the dregs, and so they they taught me um, all the stomping Tom Connor songs. A lot of the guys were, families were, weren't really farmers so much as I think they're more like, um, like, a, like animals. Like they would have like, uh, cows and stuff. I remember a couple guys had, his family was like in the meat business. Oh, one of my first roommates at, when I went to, I switched to McGill after, his family was from out east too, Jay. And I, actually I met him, that's right. He was friends of friends from my art school in Mount Allison. And so, and he was also moving to McGill the same year. So that's why we hooked up. So we were roommates, but the funniest thing was his family were like, you know, I don't know if they had some kind of animal farm, mostly cows. And he was like this super meat eater. He, that's all he ate was meat. And when his parents came to visit, they'd bring like this crazy chunk of cow. Like I don't know what the fuck it was. And we'd put it in the freezer and we'd slowly hack it off and eat it. Anyhow, he never ate vegetables. Never. In fact, the only vegetable I ever saw him eat was a tomato on a pizza. 
and he used to look at so I, I would be like you know i would eat salads i like salads and i put avocado in it when he saw me like, opening up an avocado he thought i was fucking crazy he's like what the hell is that <laughs> jay he was a good guy god i forgot about him i haven't thought about that guy in years and years and years yeah the meat eater I got one one fun story about Jay. We were living in Montreal, and uh, he liked to go out drink and party. And he was coming back from a club or something, kind of drunk. And he was walking along St. Catherine, just east of St. Laurent. And someone uh, jumped him from behind. Oh, I forgot to be the preemptive. The preemptive this was... I was very much into martial arts. I was doing it six, seven days a week for years. So I was heavily into into martial arts, especially at university. And so he decided to give it a try. So he started judo. He did it for like, was doing it for like three weeks. And he was just learning like this one flip. Anyhow, he was drunk walking back from a bar at like three in the morning. And a guy jumped out and he said in French, and actually he spoke French. He said, like, you know, you know, stop there, give me your money or something. And, and within seconds... Three cup cars pulled up and all surrounded. Oh no no he 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 gave him a, he gave him the judo throw. That's what it was. He came from behind, from behind and Jay fucking threw him on the ground with the only move he knew in martial arts. And I was thinking it was probably me. I probably like you know I'd probably fuck it up. But here he is, his first like he he actually has this like real life encounter and then flips the guy and the cop showed up and apparently what happened was this is this was like um a like a rapist. Uh, criminal guy who they were they were tracking they were actually like staked out watching this guy so that's why they were to, to stop him and the guy had a gun oh jay was like the luckiest guy oh and the other part about it was the cops like didn't take a statement from jay they just said okay that's it we're going and they took him away you know unless jay was lying which he was a pretty honest guy that's isn't that a crazy story and they didn't uh yeah I was in Montreal, and that would have been 1991. Yeah, 1991. Jay with his judo moves. <laughs> I think he stopped judo after that. <laughs> I think he had enough. <laughs> he, I think he was buddies with one of my good friends from Mount A, and also he also knew my roommate from Mount A. Who's that guy, Don? I think I did showed some drawings I did of Don. Don. Don was such a character. He was in the music program, and he, uh... oh no, it was my buddy Heath who did the radio show for the university, and Don would occasionally go on there and they'd talk on the air, and I'm like, was the most camera shy person you can imagine so i'd go to the the the, the college radio room with them and they try to me to say and i like i wouldn't say anything but heath my was my best friend at our school he was so funny he was um he went to was it, it's, i think it's called fredericton high and apparently it's like one of the largest high schools in canada it was like a thousand people or something and heath was just a hilarious guy and he had this long blonde hair and he was in the art program with me, and he would, we would just get sloppy drunk. And I remember one time he threw up in his hair. <laughs> I remember what it was. I live in the basement. I had one of those tiny little windows. And what we used to do is leave the window open so we, to get into our house, we didn't have to, like, use a key or whatever. We would just – we would roll through the window onto my bed on the floor and then get inside. And then one time – because he was not a big drinker. <laughs> he was, we were so shit-faced. We were – crawling into my window and he threw up as he was falling oh my god onto my bed and his hair is just like covered in barf oh god fucking heath i've got lots of drawings of heath too he was he was he was such a good guy i think he lives in halifax now and he got into more 3d art stuff but uh he used to be he he was so funny and he apparently he's a very popular guy then too because he used to be the announcer in high school in the morning and he would like crack jokes and they i think he got banned because he was causing so much like of a disturbance with like by doing the, the school announcements but he would do it in front of like a you know, thousand of people because like, the high school was so big 
It's funny how you lose touch with people. You really have to keep it up. I mean, this is I don't know, a long time ago, but you know. So I'm pretty sure in the building I lived in the Truman House. Uh, so Man Olsen, its claim to fame in the art world is that Alex Colville went there. And I don't know if you know about Canadian art, but he's really overrated. I always find his stuff is just like so cold. And I don't know. There was a bit. I think it was a big mural by Alex Colville in there. Just thinking about all the people I went to school with. Rosemary. I did a lot of drawings and paintings of, of my art school friends. Rosemary was in there. Heath, Don. Yep. So right now this is a steaming pile of crap, isn't it? Steaming pile of crap. I somehow have to turn it. My, my goal is to turn it into something beautiful that's not, um, that's still original, that's not kitschy. You know, it's so easy to go. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Yeah, this is going to be definitely more than one painting session. I could just, I could just feel there's something, something's off right now. You know what it is? I don't have an overriding emotion right now. So here's the, here's here's part of the problem with being an artist, at least in my shoes, is I kind of have to be unhappy to do <laughs> to do good art, and I'm in a pretty good mood. <laughs> like I clean up my house; it's all clean. I got. Uh, I had a like a bunch of work I you know got done. I like my laundry's in the laundry machine. You know, I eat something healthy. And so it's like I need to I need to suffer more. <laughs> oh man. I wish that wasn't true, but it's true. <laughs> okay. I think we'll be good. Oh, that's yellow. Oh, should we do some yellow? Do it. Yes, no, yes, no. I want more white. I want to paint more of the white. You know what? These, these aren't even like clouds. I think that's the thing. Is they're not even really clouds. This almost looks like a person up here. With their head, their shoulders. And shoulders. There's a guy on, on my phone is I've, I've been following on Instagram. I, I want to say his name is Ken Folks, I think. And I think he's in Vancouver and he paints these really nice. I was looking at some of his paintings and I was like, if I was just to do landscapes paintings, uh, you know, just that was it. Like, I don't know how these guys can artists can do that. They just focus on one thing. And that's they, you know, maybe because they make money off of it. So that, you know, keep them in business, keep them alive. So, I just I just need to do variety. I just can't get stuck to one thing. Um, but uh, he does these really nice sky paintings, and I, I can go find out. It is much more professional. Like it's it's very clean. Like you'll like there'll be like a, a sailboat here, and I definitely couldn't can't do sailboats and shit. That's too like vacationy for me. I'm trying to do something when I, when I'm doing this. I'm thinking like <clears throat> dramatic, like Chagall or something. Like maybe I will draw a fucking. A little uh, cat in the sky. Well, not a cat, more like a, what was it, like a goat or something, or a gal had a ch chickens in the sky, roosters in the sky, you know, but he was, he was uh, painting about village life, right? That's a, I don't even know if he lived in those villages. I think he was just making it up. But maybe this is starting to take place a little bit. This is starting to form something. I'm starting to use thicker paint, which is fun as hell to use. So I'm just sort of exploring like where this might go. Hey, what I can bring this up here, like that. And what is this? Maybe they'll just be like. 
I just like those cumulus clouds. They just seem so dramatic when they, they sort of are like growing higher and higher. Almost like nuclear nuclear explosion clouds, whatever the fuck they're called. The mushroom clouds, but obviously not that. But And what's what I'm missing is like the sense of volume. Like I, I have to. I'm, I'm not, like I'm winging it, man. And, and maybe I'll hit, maybe I'll get it. But I know that they have like um, much more of a sense of of, of volume. There's like the darkness on the underside of it. What is this thing? It's almost like some cool. Uh, what's that artist called? Um, Klimt. Like patterns over here, see these little dots and stuff. Maybe, maybe I'll just screw around like that and make some interesting patterns. And not not try to make it like real. You know, that's kind of fun to do too. I, in fact, that's what I'm, that's what I really want to do. I want to do like abstracted, but still somewhat representational. So it's not just completely something you you can't identify. That's why I like these sky ones right now because. Uh, you can sort of still get a sense of what they are. Okay, I think I need um. All right, let's just use this. Actually, no, I need um. Ice. Rambling. I'm really disappointed. I can't have music playing. <clears throat> okay, let's try this. What color are you? Oh, very purpley. I'm not so sure I want that purple, but let's 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 just play with this a bit. Let's just go like here. Drag, oops. Drag the brush across a bit. Let's drag this brush across. And... Maybe. Well, uh, hmm. No, I don't necessarily want that. What's this thickness over here? What's this? Uh, what are you up to? What is this up here? What the f what? What are you? Are you in a cloud? Freaking crazy thing. I, I like I like this line going across here. What is this up here? Is it this color? No, it's not that color. Let's put um what? Yellow? Are you insane? Let's try that. Oh, it's kind of a gross color. Let's add some white up there. Okay, let's just fuck with this a bit. Okay, let's just mix it in here. I told you I was gonna fuck it up. What is this weird? Maybe I'm getting a little too weird. Maybe I have to like to make it more identifiable. Yeah, I think. Hmm. 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 Like, is this white coming across here? Did I fuck that up? Is that a screw up? And we're like, what? what hmm. I like thick paint. Thick paint. Thick paint's fun to paint with. 
I like a one little tiny stroke can give such a big impression. Like, you know, suddenly now there's like light coming behind this space down there. Maybe even over here a bit. Why not? Oh, I gotta move it away. All right, so. I should do those uh, contrails. You know, they have in the sky from airplanes. Or maybe I shouldn't. <sighs> okay, so this is a steaming pile of uh, horse crap right now. Steaming pile of horse crap. I had a really good, oh, on that video the other day, there were a couple of guys that were totally roasting me. And it was funny as hell. I wish they knew that. I thought it was funny. They were one guy was saying, "Is that a, a painting by Coco the the gorilla? Remember Coco? I think it was um, Jane Goodall or or some kind of like scientist who who taught a gorilla named Coco how to do sign language. I'm pretty sure that's that's that was Coco. So I thought it was pretty damn funny." Okay, so I'm gonna turn this into something. I know I can. I will. Bring in some green in here. Like, what is. Let's bring this thing up here. I need a. Let me take a big brush and make some. Oops. Is that an oops? I just wanna. I think I need something more square. Bust of palette knife. See if I can. Do something with this. It's like a big doll, but goopiness. This is called fuck it painting. I'm literally just grabbing stuff. I'm really, I'm literally just scraping the palette here. And just seeing what happens. Pretty much what you would do in kindergarten. Because uh, I probably haven't really evolved much past that. Yeah, I'm just going around seeing what's... Seeing if something comes out of this. Just... Why not? Why not? I might just accidentally stumble upon something that I like. Like that kind of color is neat. Oh, 
<sighs> I feel like taking a break soon. I have to switch my laundry. Isn't that exciting? I gotta go switch my laundry. But I kind of feel like I'm, I'm just, I'm starting to make a little bit of progress here. I don't want to do too much palette knife stuff because palette knives typically stuff looks the same. I want to try to make a some variety of brush strokes that are interesting and different. And there's so I'm gonna have to come back and yeah, I gotta figure out what the hell this whole thing is. Like right down here, it's still rough, still very rough. Like I gotta figure out how to make volumes for the clouds. Maybe this is it. I don't, I don't want purple though. I don't want this purple necessarily. Oh, maybe I got an idea. Like maybe it's that's. There's gotta be dark clouds here. Right around like this. And maybe there's like, like a whole series of. Where's I need a paintbrush. I need a small paintbrush. Maybe there's a whole series of like little clouds. Little clouds, right? Hello, little clouds. How are you? I need, I need a bit of time. I think I might, with this, with a painting like this, I might just, um, I, I need to look at it from a distance. I can see it here, but I need to uh, go meditate on clouds a bit. Because I'm just, yeah, like I don't know. I get lost. Oh, shut up. never answered my phone never <laughs> yeah I'm gonna I gotta go meditate on some clouds like I need to look at some pictures because uh, I'm just these shapes aren't, aren't cloud like right like part of it I kind of like because it is like it is its own thing but I, I just or maybe I won't maybe I'll just chill out for a bit Maybe just ignore everything I'm saying because most of it is gibberish. I think some yellow. I have yellow down here. Would yellow sky be good? Huh. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be more striking colors coming soon to a screen near you. Yeah, this is gonna be the first first draft. It needs it needs more time to percolate. I definitely want to have like some see, yeah, yeah. In fact, right now the paint it's uh still pretty wet. And I put so much on there that I need I need gonna to have to give it some time to heart to uh dry just a little bit. Because I want to do some some other colors on top of here. Like I want to put some yellows that are a bit more. That's kind of nice. These colors are actually nice. But I do want some yeah more intense. Like let's just see what happens if I do this. Yeah, see it just it's not pulling off well. It's not uh, it's not doing what I want it to do. Just yet. See it's all just blending in and becoming this ugly color. Okay. Hmm. 
does look better here than it does on the screen. The screen looks really like a piece of crap. Steaming pile of hunk of crap. Giant, horrendous. Yeah, so what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to like, I don't want so much of that red to bleed through. So I'm just going in here and just drawing over a bit, little bits of those red stuff. Even though it is kind of nice. I don't just like it or whatever, but that's just what I'm doing. So, okay. And maybe I'll have this area just sort of like more curve up. And we're gonna come back. We need maybe more, it needs more contrast. That's probably what what's wrong about it is that it needs like contrast and volume. Contrast and volume. Sounds like a hair commercial. Or a shampoo commercial. Okay. Taking a break. Feels like about an hour. Oh, some people say, I thought I saw a face in the right middle earlier. It looks like a tall standing owl. Amosua Trabello. I don't know what that means. But maybe later I will look it up. Yeah, so I think what will be nice is once this dries a bit, I'll be able... See, look, I'm trying to make a crest of, of yellow. I'm trying to make like a highlight. And it's just so thick, it's not pulling off the yellow. It's just because it's bleh. Yeah, so that was a failure there. Okay, so there's first pass at this thing. And, uh, yeah, I might totally transform this thing into something else later. It just looks very bleh. 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 That's what it looks like. Bleh. It does look nicer. The colors are much nicer than on the screen. I guess this is supposed to be a really good like webcam, and it sucks. Can you wait? See if you, if you see, yeah. See, it looks nicer when I guess I come up close. You can see like fun, like cool things happening, but. Yeah. All right. Well, let's just call this one a wrap. Feels like an hour. I want to switch my laundry. What day is it today? Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. It's just like every other day. So, yeah, if it's three o'clock, I feel like doing more painting. I feel like uh, maybe I'll put this bad boy aside and then work on a big one because I haven't touched the big ones in a long time. I got a whole bunch of ones to work on. Okay. Peace out. You have a good Thursday. See ya.